Hello, Pastor Don here on a Wednesday morning, April the 21st. As you can see, I'm in my office here at Rock of Ages Lutheran Church in Wildwood, Florida, the Villages. And uh, today's installment of uh, our scripture reading deals with a topic that uh, may or may not be uh, familiar to you. And the topic is a fancy seminary word called sanctification. Sanctification. Uh, basically, what it means is uh, to make oneself holy. So what it, does it mean uh, to be holy in today's life? Well, let me read to you from Second uh, Peter in the first chapter, verses 1 through 11. Simeon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have received a faith as precious as ours through the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, may grace and peace be yours in abundance in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has given us everything needed for life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Thus he has given us through these things his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may escape from the corruption that is in the world because of lust and may become participants of the divine nature. For this very reason you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness and goodness with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with endurance, and endurance with godliness, and godliness with mutual affection and mutual affection with love. For if these things are yours and are increasing among you, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For anyone who lacks these things is nearsighted and blind, and is forgetful of the cleansing of past sins. Therefore, brothers and sisters, be all the more eager to confirm your call and election, for if you do this, you will never stumble. For in this way, entry into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be richly provided for you. Well, there you have it. What does it take to be holy? What are the things that cause us to be sanctified? Well, it's very clear in here. Let me read it again. You must make every effort to support your faith with goodness and support your goodness with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with endurance and endurance with godliness and godliness with mutual affection, and mutual affection with love. There you have it. That's the formula. Simple, right? We can do all of these things. Well, we can do them if we know what they are, and we can be conscious about the choices we make, the thoughts that we have, our interactions with other people. And it is no secret that over and over again in the New Testament, uh, we are focused on the issue of love, Christ's love for us and our call to be loving towards one another. So you want to be holy? Do these things. I hope that this resonates for you. I hope that you will uh, revisit it again. It is Second Peter, first chapter, verses 1 through 11. Good reminders about how to live a holy, sanctified life. Let's say a prayer. Good morning, Lord. We thank you for giving us this scripture as a reminder of what it is to live the righteous life, the holy life, the sanctified life. Lord, they're not easy for us to do in their entirety, but at least we know what they are and we can uh, apply our efforts towards them. So thank you for putting them before us and reminding what it is requires to live a righteous life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're grateful, Almighty God, for your scriptures that are there for us every day to provide uh, 
a guide to, to show us the way. Help us, Lord, to devote time to it, no matter how much or how little every day builds upon the next. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you again for the new day that you've given to us. We thank you for the opportunities that are before us. And we pray that we will make choices that are righteous, that we will do the kinds of things that uh, follow your will for our lives. For the promise is real, and we all hope to acquire eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for taking a minute with me this morning. I hope it's uh, useful for you to uh, be reminded of, of these scripture passages that we read each day. I look forward to uh, seeing you again tomorrow. And until then, I hope you are well. God bless.